Easy, easy. Macrame. Hugely popular in the 70s, and it's nice to see it reinvented. So another popular craft from the 70s was tie-dye. Let's go and learn that process with, with Leanne and maker TJ Indigo. <laughs> take a look. And I know that this is sort of the next step up. It's not exactly tie-dye. What are you making here, Tamila? Um, the difference between tie-dye, they're very similar in many ways, but the technique is different. First of all, it is um, uh, natural dye. It yes. It is uh, plant-based, it's botanical, so it's it, not a synthetic. Yes. And two is the techniques, which come from ancient Japan. Maybe you can walk me through how this works. Um, so you would take a natural something along what Leanne made. Yes. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, Leanne. I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. And you would dip it in in the vat. And those which are all is elastics, an indigo vat, right? Yep. All elastics. You can use cotton threads. Or I have to you can say, seeing Tamila's process here. Yeah. I will ne like the, so much appreciation for makers and the handwork that goes in. You yes. you so take for granted yes. that something like this, a beautiful pattern, yeah. was all of these. Every single circle was hand. So this. Take a look at this right here. This is all done with a little cotton. Like, Unbelievable. That's amazing. And she was showing me. Can we open one of them up? Yep. Like this and is kind of pinch, and pinch, and pull. pinch and pull. So when you open yep. it up, you get Look to see that. what that's and like. You get Look at that. Patterns. But Incredible. each one is individually made. It's not block printing. Like this yeah. is what Always she was showing me. It looks like before. And every single one of these were hand. What do you call that? Winding. Yep. Hand wound. That's very cool. This is kumashi bori. Yeah. Uh, this is nimaki. Then there is arashi shibori. So they all have different names. Something now listen, if you go to like Etsy this. and you see, do you want to do one for us and show us what that's yep. going to look like? Can you like? reveal? I'm so excited. Uh, so reveal yeah. one for us. If you go to Etsy and you see that it's one million dollars, that's because... <laughs> that's what I would have to charge for these for the amount she of time. She sat down and put a string around every this little thing. unbelievable. Tamila, we only have a little bit of time left, yep. but I'd love to see what this looks like when you... Uh, and can you do that right here? Do you mind showing us right here? Yep. Yeah, just so we can see what that looks like. So that oh, the is an Itajimi. Wow. wow. Shibori piece. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so I, we have a little bit of time left, and Gorgeous. I just would love for you to be able to explain wow. to our viewers, Tamila, yep. um, something like this that you will see at your Etsy shop. And the reason why this is also um, a piece of clothing you've thought about in terms of sustainability, how does it work? Uh, well, all the fabrics that we use are natural, so yes. this is uh, this is cashmere wool, yeah. um, and this is adjustable. This is sustainable and adjustable in in a sense that whether you lost 10 pounds or you gained 10 pounds, <laughs> yeah. you don't have to throw out the coat. Good. You can just move this button and yeah. it kind of flows and moves with you. Yes. Um, and because the fabric, the quality of the fabric, it's very long lasting. Yeah, this is not yeah. you can wear it forever. Yes. It's this is not. So chic, You're going to so wear it beautiful. forever. Tamila, thank you for that. Thank you, LA.